What if I told you that the oil your car uses, 0W20 or 5W30, could be the difference between an engine lasting half a million miles or dying before 1 to 20,000? Sounds like hype, right? It's not. It's fact. In a massive 50-engine study, run by independent labs and verified by major automakers, the difference between these two oils wasn't just a few numbers on a label. It changed everything. Fuel economy, wear rate, valve cleanliness, and even oil consumption. Yet most drivers, and even some mechanics, still pick the wrong one. So today, we're diving deep into the science, myths, and shocking results behind 0W20 and 5W30. And by the end, you'll know exactly which oil your engine truly wants, and why one of them might be silently destroying it. Before we start, make sure you hit subscribe and turn on notifications, because every week, I uncover the real science behind what keeps your car alive. Section 1. What the numbers actually mean. Let's clear this up once and for all. 0W20 and 5W30 aren't some secret codes. They describe how oil behaves in cold and hot temperatures. The first number, the 0W or 5W, tells you how easily oil flows in winter. W means winter. 0W stays thinner in cold climates, helping engines crank faster on freezing mornings. 5W is slightly thicker. It takes a bit longer to circulate at startup. The second number, 20 or 30, shows how thick the oil stays at 212 degrees Fahrenheit, normal operating temperature. 20 weight oil is thinner when hot. 30 weight keeps a thicker film, offering better protection under pressure. So on paper, ZOW20 looks perfect, great for cold starts, better MPG. But what happens when that thin protection faces real-world stress, heat, long idling, or towing? Let's find out. Section 2. The 50 Engine Test – What Really Happened Independent labs partnered with the Automotive Testing Institute of North America ran a 200,000-mile durability study across 50 identical engines. Half ran 0W20. Half ran 5W30. Same conditions. Same maintenance. The results stunned even the engineers. Engines using 0W20 showed a 3.2% better city fuel economy, but also 42% higher bearing wear and 28% more oil consumption by 150,000 miles. 5W30 engines had slightly lower MPG, but cleaner pistons, stronger oil film underload, and far less timing chain stretch. In short, 0W20 wins the short game. 5W30 wins the long game. Or as veteran mechanic Scotty Kilmer puts it, sub W20 is great for warranty periods. But if you want that engine to hit 300,000 miles, 5W30 is your best friend. Section 3. Why automakers push 0W20? So why do new cars, even big SUVs, come with 0W20 stickers? Simple regulations. U.S. CAFE standards penalize automakers if their fleet fuel economy drops below target. Thinner oil across millions of cars boosts MPG averages, saving manufacturers millions in fines. Even Toyota admitted in a 2018 bulletin, low viscosity oil is specified primarily for fuel economy benefits. Under high load or severe driving, higher viscosity oils may improve durability. They know thicker oil protects better, but they also know the average driver will trade longevity for one extra mile per gallon. Here's the kicker. In Japan and Europe, those same engines are tested long-term with 5W30 or even 5W40. Only North American models get the ultra-thin 0W20 spec to satisfy emission laws. Section 4. When 0W20 works and when it doesn't. 0W20 absolutely has its place, but only in the right conditions. Use 0W20 if you live in cold climates below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Drive short commutes under light loads. Change oil at or before 5,000 miles. Own a modern car designed with tight tolerances like Toyota, Honda, or Mazda. Avoid 0W20 if you live in hot or desert climates. Tow or haul heavy loads. Drive aggressively or over 3,000 RPM often. 
have over 100,000 miles on the odometer. In those cases, thin oil can shear down, losing viscosity, leaving metal-on-metal -metal contact. In AM Soil's 2022 lab tests, 0W20 sheared to 18 weight after just 7,000 miles in turbo engines. That's dangerously thin. Section 5. The myth of thinner equals better. Marketers love to say thinner oil reduces friction. That's only half true. Thinner oil flows faster, yes. But lubrication depends on film strength, not flow. And that strength comes from viscosity and additives like ZDDP, zinc and phosphorus. Lower viscosity oils rely heavily on those additives, which deplete faster. After 5,000 miles, most 0W20 oils lose nearly 40% of their ZDDP layer. 5W30 retains most of it. In plain English, thinner oil wears out faster, and so does your engine. Section 6. The hidden heat zone that destroys thin oils. Inside every modern engine lies a hidden heat zone between piston rings and cylinder walls. Temperatures there can spike past 500 degrees Fahrenheit, especially in direct injection and turbo engines. 0W20 begins losing film strength around 450 degrees Fahrenheit per ASTM D4683 testing. When that happens, microscopic metal contact starts and wear skyrockets. Tear down photos from the 50 engine test tell the story 0W20 engines had piston scuffing and varnish. 5W30 engines stayed clean oil film intact, even under extreme load. That's because 5W30 forms a film roughly 35% thicker than 0W20. That tiny micrometer of oil can mean the difference between smooth operation and metal grinding. And hybrids? They suffer even more. With constant stop-start cycles, oil pressure repeatedly drops. That's why Toyota quietly recommends 5W30 in hybrids past 100,000 miles, even if the manual still says 0W20. Section 7. Oil Consumption and Timing Chain Where? If your car burns oil between changes, you're not imagining it. 0W20 oils have higher volatility, meaning they evaporate under heat. Tests show up to 13% mass loss in 10 hours at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. 5W30? Only 6-7%. That evaporated oil coats your intake valves and clogs your catalytic converter. Thin oils also weaken timing chain lubrication. A 2020 Nissan Bulletin revealed 0W20 use caused 2.5mm chain elongation in turbo engines. Switching to 5W30 immediately reduced wear. So that startup ticking noise? It might not be old age, it might just be oil that's too thin. Section 8. Turbo Engines and Extreme Heat Turbochargers are oil torture chambers, spinning at 150,000 RPM cooled by oil alone. 0W20 can survive mild turbo use, but in hot climates or long drives, it shears to 16 or 18 weight in just 3,000 miles. Once viscosity drops that low, bearings lose their cushion, leading to oil starvation and failure. That's why Garrett and Borg Warner, the biggest turbo makers, both recommend at least a 30 weight oil for turbo longevity. Meanwhile, 5W30 full synthetics, group four or V base oils, hold up to 480 degrees Fahrenheit without breaking down. That's real protection, not brochure promises. Section nine, the secret middle ground engineers use. Here's the twist most drivers never hear. There's a middle ground. It's called 0W30. 0W30 combines the cold start benefit of 0W20 with the high temp protection of 5W30. In a 2019 Lubrizol study, engines running 0W30 showed 29% less wear than 0W20 with only a 0.3 MPG penalty, almost identical startup flow. That's why many European brands, Audi, BMW, Volvo, default to 0W30. If you live somewhere cold but drive hard or tow sometimes, 0W30 synthetic is the perfect balance. Section 10. How to choose the right oil for your car. Choosing the right viscosity isn't about the number on your cap. 
It's about how you drive. Use this checklist. Below 20 degrees Fahrenheit, 0 W20. Degrees Fahrenheit, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. 5 W30, above 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Or towing. 10 W30 or 5 W40. Always pick oil with APISP, ILSAC GF6, ACAA5, B5 certification. Go full synthetic for longer intervals. Blends just can't handle the heat. Avoid high mileage oil unless your car leaks or burns oil. The seal swellers inside can soften healthy gaskets unnecessarily. Section 11. What you should actually run. If your car's new and under warranty, stay with 0W20. But once you cross 80 to 100K miles, or you drive in heat, mountains, or with a trailer, move up to 5W30 full synthetic. 5W30 keeps its film under pressure, protects your turbo, and reduces chain wear. It's the oil for the long haul. And if you're running performance mods or high boost, 5W40 is your insurance policy. The numbers on that bottle aren't marketing. They're your engine's armor rating. Too thin, and heat wins. Too thick, and flow suffers. But the right viscosity, chosen by science, that's what keeps metal floating on metal for decades. So next time you're standing in that oil aisle, staring at those shiny eco-labels, remember this. Engines don't care about marketing. They care about molecules. Choose based on what your engine faces, not what the brochure says. Because in the end, the right oil doesn't just save pennies at the pump. It saves thousands under the hood. Call to action. Now, I want to hear from you. What oil are you running right now? And have you ever tried switching between 0W20 and 5W30? Did you notice a difference in sound, smoothness, or oil consumption? Drop your experience below. It might save another driver's engine. And if you found this helpful, hit like, share, and subscribe. Because next time, we'll expose the one winter startup habit that destroys piston rings faster than bad oil ever could. Remember, your car doesn't care about marketing. It cares about maintenance.